In the diagram of triangle JEA below, the measure of angle JEA is equal to 90 degrees. No shit, you already labeled it for me with the right angle. And measure of angle EAJ is equal to 48. Again, why do you do this? Line segment MS connects points M and S on the triangle. No shit. Such that the measure of everything here is in the diagram. Why is that there? This is ridiculous. Uh, what is the measure of angle JSM? First thing you can do is use the fact that when you have an angle that's formed by a straight line, it must equal 180 degrees. It's half a circle. So that means we're going to do 59 plus something gives us uh, 180. But you could also just immediately do 180 minus 59. And that gives you 121. Similarly, um, we're going to be subtracting from 90. Uh, we're going to be subtracting the 48 from 90 to get 42 for that red angle. Now, the reason why you can subtract from 90 is because those two angles must add up to 90. Why? Well, the two acute angles of a right triangle are always complementary. Why? Because the sum of all three angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So if you have a right triangle, you've already got 90. So you can say that the last two must add up to the remaining 90. All right, so once we got the 42 and the 121, you can use the fact that we have a triangle, J, M, S, where those three angles have to add up to 180. So then you could do 42 plus 121 plus x is equal 180 and solve it for x. Or you could just say it's going to be whatever I get when I subtract 42 plus 121 from 180. And that gives you 17.